नमस्ते एवरी वन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट क्लाइमेट ऑफ अफ्रीका सो फर्स्ट वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग द क्लाइमेट ऑफ अफ्रीका सो दीज फोर फैक्टर्स आर लैटिट्यूड डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सी ओशन करंट्स एंड अल्टीट्यूड लेट्स सी देम इंडिविजुअली इन डिटेल फर्स्ट इज डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम इक्वेटर so when we look at africa africa is extended in both the hemisphere right so when we look at africa equator is located at the center of uh, africa and in the northern part tropic of cancer uh, is passing through and uh, capricorn is passing through the southern part of the uh, african continent so uh, as it is located on both sides of hemisphere seasons in the northern hemisphere northern part of the african continent are completely opposite to the seasons of southern part of african continent like if northern part of africa is celebrating winter in december uh, december in winter season december will be the month in southern part of africa the summer month so seasons in the northern hemisphere are completely opposite to the seasons of southern hemisphere africa has larger latitudinal expanse from north to south so when we look at uh, the african map in the north here uh, it starts from 37 degree north and ends in here cape town near 35 degree south so because of this africa experience a variety of climate right Africa central region are experiencing different kind of climate as you move towards the north and south of Africa you will, uh, these regions experience different type of uh, climate as you the coastal regions have a mild climate right so most of the uh, but uh, when we look at uh, the most of Africa it is located in the torrid zone that means between the tropics here equator is cutting through the center of africa how i have shown over here equator is cutting through the center of africa so this region region in the northern hemisphere and re region here in the southern hemisphere these regions receive direct sun rays so the torrid zone remains hot throughout the year this what we learn distance from equator as we move away from equator the climate the temperature gets lower second factor distance from sea right if you look at uh, the map africa is surrounded by water bodies here in the north you have mediterranean sea here in the east you have atlantic ocean in the sorry in the west you have atlantic ocean in the east you have indian ocean right so the coastal regions all are moderate in climate they experience moderate climate neither too hot nor too cool but as you move away from the coastal region the interior part of the uh, continent has extreme uh, climate right but the high plateaus uh, are having mild uh, climate because they are uh, having higher altitude so climate on higher altitude are cooler third is ocean currents so uh, africa is washed by warm and cool both the currents let's see cool canary current cool canary uh, current washes the north western coast of africa so these coastal regions are uh, made cooler due to this cool canary canary current cool banguela current it washes south western coast sorry not south western south eastern coast south eastern coast so again these coastal region from where the banguela banguela current uh, passes these coastal regions are made cooler right now uh, because of these cool currents the coastal regions are always uh, experiencing cooler climate compared to the other regions located on the same latitude right but these cool currents have very less moisture or no moisture because they are dry 
so they do not bring any rainfall in these coastal region the next current is warm mozambic current which is washing the southeastern coast of africa this current uh, has warming effect on the coastal region and it carries moisture so it brings rainfall to the coastal region south eastern coastal regions receive rainfall due to warm mozambic current washing through altitude most of africa is so hot because it is located in the tor torrid zone and it is experiencing great difference in daily temperature why because it has uh, uh, the uh, the torrid zone has uh, over here sahara desert over here Kala kalahari desert now this region will experience a high range of daily temperature because of the sandy soil and absence of cloud there is no uh, there are no clouds to stop the heat of the sun and sandy soil uh, grabs the heat too quickly so becomes hot but the higher plateau region you can see in the map brown color they are comparatively cooler compared to the other parts of african continent the climatic regions of africa in the next video we will be learning about eight climatic regions of africa so stay tuned subscribe and do not forget to hit the notification button bye bye